And now a special edition of Just the Beatles spoken entirely in Swedish. Mycket välkomna till Karlaplan studion där vi ikväll har verkligt fina gäster. Vi ska börja på en gång och jag säger bara det att vi här har besök av John, George, Paul och Ringo, The Beatles. Hello, this is John speaking. This is Paul. Hello, Ringo here. I'm George Harrison. The Beatles. <laughs> Well, good morning and welcome into another edition of Just the Beatles. I'm Gary Scott. And I'm Clyde Anderson. Good morning, everybody. We have some real good stuff for you today. Some bootleg stuff, Gary. Huh? Lots of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Lots bootleg, of good bootleg, stuff. Bootleg, bootleg. I don't like bootleg. I mean, just oh. stuff that is not readily available at oh. a record store. Well, we have a bootleg expert with us today. <laughs> <laughs> and he uses that word, so to me, it's okay. You know, I would say it's time to probably look into some Beatles news, if I'm not mistaken. You think we should? Let's do it. On Monday, June 11th, 1960, drummer Tommy Moore made his last appearance with the Silver Beatles. You know why he dropped out? Do you remember that little story? No. His wife forced him to quit and get a decent job at the Garston Bottle Works. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if they're still together. I have a feeling they were divorced about 1963. <laughs> uh, we don't know. Okay. On June 12th, 1962, the Poobahs of Pop played both the lunchtime and night shows at <laughs> the Cavern Club. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, now, I've heard them called the Fab Four. You know, a great, a great band, rock and roll band. Now, now, who did, who did you say they were? The Poobahs of Pop, I think is. That's we... Clyde Anderson. I didn't say that, folks. Okay. Anyway, uh, that was June 12, 62, and they played lunchtime and evening at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. On June 12, 1964, the Beatles gave the first of four shows in Australia during the first crazy year of worldwide Beatlemania. And on June 14, 1966, the guys began work at Abbey Road on Paul's Here There. And everywhere. We get you back yet, Gary? Oh. Still uh, lost his face over there? So it's anyway, right. that's Beatle News yesterday, and Gary's going to pull himself yeah. together for Beatle News today. All right. The uh, the Poobahs of Rock was of that? Pop. Uh, pop. I'm sorry. Uh, the, uh, John, uh, I don't know who is going to be on now on uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Well, uh, well let's let see. me give you a hint, okay? It's okay. the guy that's doing a worldwide right. tour right I, now. I, the, oh, the veggie the dog guy. One? Yeah. The veggie Does dog guy. Does that help guy. you out? All right. <laughs> Paul is going to be in concert at uh, on on Fox 25. That would be Two, three, four. I don't want to hear Question is, how many times did the Beatles play in Massachusetts, and where did they appear? Oh, good, good question. How many times did the Beatles play in Massachusetts, and where did they play their songs? And I have one of those tickets. I know you do. So that's you're, right. you so have I at know least part of the answer. That's, oh, or maybe not, that's all the answer. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> we tried to. Uh, the uh, number is seven nine one thirteen ten. You can fool a fool all the time, but, but you can't uh, tell the time to a fool. Isn't that how it goes? Like that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Seven nine one thirty ten. Why don't we give that question again? Because I think we totally uh, uh, missed what question? Oh. The, the question. How oh. many times uh -huh. did, did the, Beatles the Beatles play in the wonderful state of Massachusetts? And where exactly did they appear? Okay, should we, we have... As a matter of fact, I will take the um, city or town rather than the specific um, location. location where they actually played, where they set up the instruments, uh, be it, you know, whether it was a park or a hall or something like that. If you can at least get the town or city that they played in, okay. we'll, we'll take that for the answer. We don't want to make it too hard. This no. is just a, It's not a Mercedes we're giving away. Oh, right? okay. It's better. Uh, that's right, it is. Uh, we're going to go to the phones right now. We do have uh, all of them lit, 791-1310. Wow. And uh, let's go. Hi there, who's this? Don. Don, how are you today? Okay, Gary. Hey, uh, can, can you tell me? Uh, let, let Clyde, I want to introduce you to Clyde, Don. Hi, Clyde, how are you doing? Pretty I heard good, you in the background. <laughs> what? You, I heard you two guys earlier. You know, you two sound like before you sounded like Bobby Heenan. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you thought about Yoko Ono. Oh. Oh. You, two, you two sound like Bobby Heenan and uh, Gene Ockland in the wrestling commentary. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's good or bad, Don. <laughs> At least I'm glad that's he explained funny. it. it yeah. When he started, I thought he said, I, I thought you wanted a back rub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, I'm glad you're back, is what yeah, he said, Yeah, that's right? what he said. I understood that. I was wondering, how does he 
know my back is kind yeah, of Yeah, you were taking your shirt off, and I was wondering, you know, what are you doing? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, Don, let's get back to business here. How many times did the greatest group in history, the Poobahs of Pop, play in Massachusetts, and where did they play? Uh, twice, if I remember, before I went to service, they were in 64, uh, they appeared in Boston, the Boston Garden, mm -hmm. and they were at uh, Greatwood. No, uh, sorry, Don. Okay. Good <laughs> that's effort. A, that's the guy. I, I wasn't too sure to say it was true the first one. Uh, <laughs> okay. All good right. Thing. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Don. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. You're not getting a back rub. WORC. Hello. Hi. I got laryngitis. Well, it was okay. nice talking to you. Yeah, you got laryngitis. Okay. Oh, no, seriously. Is this true? I think he does. Oh. How are you? I thought it was an obscene Good. phone call. No, no. You Okay. Boston, you got that. And they played it. Mickey Green's all their music. Mickey Green's in Auburn? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think they did that. I, mean, I think that was an obscene phone call. So how many times did they play? That's what we're looking for here. 791-1310. Both might be the key word here. I think so. But we still Rather need the than few. We still need the locations, folks. Just the Beatles, WORC. Let's do some more music while you're thinking. How about Worcester? Ooh, they played Worcester, England, but never Worcester, Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, you're close. No, no, you don't. Do you have it? No, no. I don't. Well, thanks for calling. Okay. Thanks a lot, it. Elaine. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. I think so. I, I think the first one is uh, Boston God. That's correct. And the second one is Suffolk Downs. That is That's correct. That's it. Very good, right. Virgil. I have three unused Suffolk Down tickets. Oh, I only I have... I have one. Virgil, good news. Those tickets will be honored <laughs> next week at a special <laughs> reunion concert. Yeah. Hold on to them. Don't we wish. Uh, All right. Well, uh, there it was. It was Boston Garden and uh, Suffolk Downs. Which you have a ticket to. Yeah. Encased in plastic in probably oh, yes. 5,000 years from now. It'll be just as good. That's right. I have two guards at the front door. Uh, no one touches it, as, as you well know. You've, I do. you've seen it. You have I used to have uh, an entire handful of That's fingers right. here. But, That's uh, right. We don't go now near they, that thing. Now they call me Stumpy. I don't okay. know why. <laughs> well, we are, are going to take a break here on Just the Beatles. There you have it. I'm down. The Beatles. Paul McCartney uh, really screaming it out there on uh, The Beatles Past Masters Volume 1. Oh, by the way, whenever you hear that, it's the chair turning. It's one of those oh. swivel chairs. I okay. didn't want you to get All the right, wrong no. idea here on Just All the right. Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> just because I had chili last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of great requests coming in. Uh, 791 1310. If you want to talk Beatles, you have a question, or you'd like to just make a simple request, then always keep that uh, phone number in mind because we'll be giving out uh, more of those magazines. And we'll also be talking again about the uh, Beatles show coming up on Wednesday in New Haven, Connecticut. And we've talked to a couple of people on the phone that are making their plans. Yes. As we speak to go, so this is going to be great. So we're definitely going to have to wear our WORC Beatles shirts down there. we couldn't rent the Magical Mystery Tour bus and take a whole Wouldn't bus load down there. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't and that... film it all the way down and just act silly. <laughs> <laughs> Lost you again, huh? Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, next break, we're going to talk about uh, the clues that uh, occurred during Abbey Road and the White Album. And, and there are a gonna... lot of them. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. And we're also going to have some Beatle news. So I think this is the time to cover this. You don't even know about this, Gary, because uh -oh. just as we were coming in the studio, um, I had asked the research department, mm -hmm. Dave and Frank and some of those others, to put together um, a list of clues that no one has ever bothered to come up with. Okay. And they handed this to me just as we were coming into the studio. Oh, so, so this is like hot off the press. Yeah, you okay. don't even know this. All right. So here's a few more. More rumors uh, to hopefully or maybe not support the thing that Paul is dead. And it goes like this. Paul and Yoko, not John and Yoko, mm -hmm. Paul and Yoko once went to a fortune teller who predicted that if Paul ever died, bizarre hideous noise would come out of Yoko if she tried to sing. So <laughs> that's a pretty good clue, okay? Um, it was predicted. <laughs> that's what made me believe this whole thing. <laughs> it was predicted that Paul's death would pave the way for a new generation of world leaders, Gary, mm -hmm. following the ways and teachings of Paul. It was said there might even someday be an American president with experience with drugs, but no experience in the military. So, <laughs> okay. who would have thought? Our research department is right on the right ball, on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, they've got more. Yeah. More from our research department folks here at Just the Beatles. It was rumored that Mick Jagger's huge lips were caused by swelling from excessive kissing of Paul's casket in his grief. Had you heard that one? No, I didn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Now you've uh, you're familiar with this guy Nostradamus, who yes. like five six hundred years ago. Yeah, he predicted a whole things. bunch of things. What did he predict? Okay. I can't wait to hear. He this mentioned one. the Beatles. No he one, did? no one has ever put that together with okay. the story. But Nostradamus foresaw that Paul's fatal accident would occur shortly after he left a party at Governor Wells' house. No kidding. Imagine that. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. It's okay. incredible. There's one more. I'm All right, go ahead. I'm sorry to say this. Yep. One more. Okay, this is the fifth clue, and this could be the most definitive of all, Gary. All right. Paul must be an imposter because the real Paul would never let someone with no musical talent in his band, even if she is his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, we're not picking on you, Linda. Don't worry about it. That okay. was our research department. So, thanks to the Just the Beatles Thank research department for coming up with some of that stuff that has never been dug up before in the Paul is Dead controversy. I'll tell you, leave it to those guys. Yeah, huh? Isn't that pretty good stuff? I love it. All right, so why don't we get back to some music? Rubber Soul, I think, is where yes, we're bound. we are at there. When I call you. Just came up with one today that I have never seen mentioned, but if um, you look at the White Album, totally white, what kind of uh, sheet do you pull over a dead person? White? Yeah. So there's another clue that no See, one has ever mentioned. I See, never folks, are you lucky that. you are listening to just the Beatles today because we have just added to the Paul is Dead controversy. The White Sheet album. Yeah. That's that's how what it is. That's very true. The Shroud album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, that this album has a whole lot of things. A it. slew of yes. clues. And you can just listen to, uh, <laughs> oh boy, folks, this is what I have to put up with every weekend here. Well, okay, just before you play that, let me do okay. the last one I have on paper, and then we're going to cover Revolution number nine, forwards okay. and backwards and all that. In Ringo's Don't Pass Me By, references made to a car crash, and it mm -hmm. was supposedly Paul's car crash. And actually, it was uh, Ringo who was waiting for Paul to arrive at his house on the day that the supposed crash happened in mm -hmm. November, so uh, that's why he wrote that song. And he said, Paul, you out of your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> we got the whip in here for this fella today. Yes! And there you have it. I saw her standing there, the Beatles, just the Beatles here at WORC. I cannot believe we are coming to a close. This has been a great show. I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as we did bringing it to you. I'd just like to say hello to a fellow I met at a recent get-together, Bill Harrington, who listens to the show all the time. Hello there, Bill. And another young lady I met, I cannot remember her name, but... but they both said how much they love the show. We That's appreciate right. it. That's right. And uh, we have a contest coming up in a couple of weeks. Be listening. And that's just about it. Next week is the anniversary, the 26th anniversary of the release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. We're going to check it out. All right. I'm, I'm Clyde Anderson. Have yourself a good week. I'm Gary Scott. Goodbye. <laughs>